So the good people at Reillusion who make iClone and Character Creator amongst many other things, uh, they asked me to put together a video and an article about my experience using iClone and all the new features like AccuPose to make a film I'm working on which is an idea I've had for 10 years and it's a feature film so will I ever finish it? Maybe not, but I'm uh, working towards it. And so while they released like uh, sort of a summary video on their website and the article kind of covers the broad strokes of it. This is a step-by-step -step how exactly I animated these scenes. Uh, there's two parts to this. There's the first scene which Griff runs and climbs up a pole and a second one in which uh, he fights a robot. And both of these were scenes that I never in my life would have tried without Acupose. Acupose is really uh, it's, it's, I, I think I call it a helping hand in the other video. It, it guides the way your poses go, and I found it really helped me in the thing I struggle with most in uh, doing keyframe animation, which is getting really good key poses. So here you go. Uh, here's part one, and there's going to be another part two. So here we have our character Griff, and he's got this little backpack on with some stolen goods, and he's going to be running away from a robot. Uh, so we've got a little sort of dummy set here, and the gist of the animation is he's going to come running around this corner, and he's going to jump up, grab onto this pipe, and shimmy up to the roof. So the first thing I want to do is just select Griff here and we're going to use some motion capture from actor core as our initial run and turn so I'm just going to go to the content area and here are some panic related animations I'm just going to look for one so this one he kind of runs looks over his shoulder and turns to the right so that's what we're going to use just gonna double click that and if we hit play now, he comes running around the corner, but he stops. And we really want him to continue all the way here and then jump onto that pole. I'm going to go look for another panic e run. And we've got this one here. So I'm just going to grab that and drag it into our timeline. And you'll see we hit a bit of a snag here. He turns around and runs back the other way. So we're going to just make some adjustments here. Uh, so say this is where we want things to start turning. We're going to turn on motion direction control. And what this shows us is our first clip has him running this way. And now our second clip has him turning around and going the other direction. So I'm just going to go to the first frame of this clip and you see now once I selected the clip down here, that motion direction gets selected. Uh, and we're just going to rotate him going this way. I uh, don't want him to run into the pole, just nearby. So now he comes around the corner and there he goes. So what I'd like to do is find where his foot lands here. So he's landing on his left foot. And we want to find sort of a similar spot here. So he lands on his left foot here. We want these two moments to be lined up. So that makes it a little more seamless. Uh, but he's maybe running it's like he picks up speed as he heads around that corner. So one thing I'm going to do is right click on this panic long run. I'm going to go and set the speed. So that's a little more natural. Comes around the corner and keeps going. Maybe be even able to pull this back a little bit. So as he runs, we want him to start jumping around frame 160. So first I'm going to select this clip and we're just going to do a normal break, which is going to get rid of all the rest of the animation going forward. So if we scrub right now, you see he keeps running, but we're going to delete that and 
he's going to stop dead in his tracks. Next thing we're going to do is open up Acupose. And Acupose has a lot of starting poses for us to work from. What we're going to do is go into daily life and we're going to go to the mobility one. We're going to use some of the poses here. Uh, we've got this running jump and the running leap to get him to run and jump and grab onto that pole. But before we do that, I want to just set a keyframe here. And I'm going to do that by going to the control panel, which gives us something similar to edit motion layer. We can select different parts of the body. Uh, what I want to do is just set a keyframe here of his, just any part of him really. Just so that if we're to look at the uh, motion layer, there are some keyframes here. So the first thing I'm going to do is slide over to frame 165. And I'm going to go to the pose presets. And we're going to try to find a pose that's fairly similar to this, just so he's kind of getting ready to do his jump. And we've got this running leap here where his left foot is on the ground. And his left foot's on the ground here. And he's kind of ducking down before he jumps up. We're going to use this pose, but what I want to do is make sure that it starts on his left foot, that everything's aligned. So I'm using this pose alignment tool and we're going to just pick the left foot here. What this is going to do is it's going to match this pose to this next pose at the left foot. So if we do that, now he's kind of making this motion as if he's going to jump. His leg is planted. And we're just going to adjust this since we want him to be a little bit more forward. We want him to be traveling. Uh, I'm going to grab his arms and legs, everything except that left foot, and just move him forward. Maybe down a little bit. So he's going to spring off. I'm just going to change my pose alignment back to the root. So at frame 170, I'm going to just add the next pose in the sequence, which is run leap two. See, we some of these have uh, jump one, jump two, jump three. So they kind of give us our key poses for any kind of action. So let's use run leap two. And he kind of jumps in the air. We want to just, again, move his body towards, towards the pipe. Let's get him a little closer here. And now we want him to grab onto the pipe. So we're not going to really find anything... These are all kind of ground-based poses, so we're not going to find anything that really works in this selection. But if we go to the training models, and we'll go down to combat, and we've got this wall crawler one. Should be perfect for somebody climbing. So I'm going to just scroll down here, and we've got this building crawl one and building crawl two. And let's go with building crawl one. So I'm just going to use this move body option here and I'm gonna rotate whoops rotate him around get him in place on the pipe might be a little fast uh, we could fix that as we go What this is really about is getting the key poses in place. Then we can do the animation in between those frames uh, to make things look a little better. So I'm just going to quickly rotate his hands so that he's holding onto the pipe, gonna move his legs in, uh, let's grab his ankle, 
Let's pull that a little closer. Now you'll notice here as I'm moving his heel, his toes are not following. And that's just because when we see this little translate icon here, that means the AI is not interpreting the motion for the toes. So I'm going to turn that off. And now if we move and rotate the ankle, it's going to follow as we would expect. Now we've got the same thing happening here. And I want to just turn on the translate and rotate so I have as much control as possible of this ankle. So let's take a quick look at that. I want to just tilt his head up a little bit as well so he's looking where he's going. And let's see how that plays out. So he jumps up. Jumps up and grabs onto the pole. And we're going to just get him to start climbing. So I'm going to go about 15 frames ahead. And we're going to just start the climbing sequence. And we can make this really simple by using these locks that are available to us. So I'm just going to click on uh, his left hand and say lock all. Right hand and say lock all. Do the same on his left hand and left foot and right foot. All of these, all of these have translate and rotate set and they're locked. And we're also going to lock the hips. So what did that do really? Uh, that means his hands and feet are going to be locked in place as we move. So if you see right now, he's just kind of rotating around his hips, but everything else is kind of locked in place. And this is going to make our lives really easy to do this uh, crawling animation. Let's assume that this hand is going to be holding on strong into place, as well as this foot. So that's kind of his anchor to the pipe. What we want to do is grab his hips and grab his opposite limbs. And we're just going to hit the translate key. Just going to, just going to hit W for translate. And I'm going to slide him up just so the knee is uh, not too straight. We want it a little bit bent. And that's going to give us, that's going to give us this kind of motion of him starting his climb. And what we want to do is adjust this pose now so that he has some room to go. So move that leg up and you can see now it, his whole knee bends and he grabs onto a new part of the pipe. And we're going to do the same for his hand. Let's move that up there and his whole body follows in kind of a logical way. And his whole body follows in a logical way. And we're going to just go 10 frames ahead and we'll do the same again. So take this hand and the hips and this leg and we'll move those up as far as makes sense. That looks good. And now we'll just adjust the leg. and this arm. Ten more frames and we'll do the same one more time. So he's going to run and jump and start climbing that pole. So these are really all key poses and I would start adding animation in between here. And once I have his climb as high as I want it to go, I could start filling in things between the key poses. So 
maybe rather than just ascending without any kind of struggle, we're going to just uh, copy the state of this pose. I'm going to move two frames over and paste that. So he's kind of going to have a little bit of a two frame pause before he reaches up, which makes it look a little bit more like a, a struggle to climb up. Again, I'll do this copy state, copy state at each of these key poses, paste, 